Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 31. You guys probably know how this series works, but just in case this is your first week tuning in, the way it works is every single Friday without fail, I will show you two proven profitable products that you can go out there and start selling right away. Every product I show on the Fridays are always current and active. So the way it works is I will show you the Facebook ad advertising these products. So you get to see the ad copy, you get to see the product, you get to see the Shopify store. And I will of course show you where to source these products as well. So you essentially get to see the entire business, almost kind of like a behind the scenes look um, at what it takes to sell these products profitably. If you clicked on this video, then chances are you're still looking for that one product that's gonna be a winner for you. So I just wanna take a very quick second to point out that I have put together an ebook of 194 product ideas, all handpicked by myself. If you wanna get a copy of that, just check out the top link in the video description down below. It also comes with a training as well, which will show you how to then launch those products, the Facebook ad strategies, absolutely everything everything and start getting your first sales within 21 days. It's 100% free. So when you've got the time, go and check it out and then let me know what you think. That being said, then let's jump straight into product number one. So this is the Facebook ad is by a company called Panda. It launched on March 17th of this year. So it's about eight or 10 weeks old if my maths isn't failing me and they straight away go into a testimonial. If you're familiar with this series, you've probably seen this quite a few times now. Um, it's definitely a popular strategy and it's popular for the right reasons because it must work. Before I show you the actual product itself then, um, this is how, or this is how I would gauge what I would call a proven product and a profitable product. Because when you put kind of two and two together, people don't advertise and continue to advertise products unless they're seeing some form of a return. And when you check out the comment section as well and see things like this, so Debbie saying that she loves hers, that would indicate that she's bought this product. Um, Jan here, best pillow I've ever brought, uh, bought. Uh, Riaz, really good, glad I purchased mine. Um, Andrew, I have real problems finding the right pillow. I bought one of these. My family of four have these pillows. I've tried loads. This is the best one. Love their brand, best pillows. Every single comment almost is from people who have bought this product. So, so for me, that shows there's a demand for the product. It shows it's a successful product. Um, and therefore, there's a lot to learn from this. The reason I wanted to show these guys, um, even though the engagements are quite modest, so only a thousand likes, 500 comments and a hundred shares. The reason I wanted to show this is because one of the most popular questions I get is how do you like go beyond drop shipping? How do you continue to make money? Because, because once you see that initial success with a product, if you don't want to be one of those people that's just pumping and dumping products constantly looking for the next thing and kind of being on edge trying to get to it before everybody else you want to build a proper brand that will bring in sales consistently and these guys are a great example of how to do that so let's just take a look at what that video ad creative is so just to point out um i spoke about this maybe last week or the week before how people make up their mind whether they're going to watch a video in those first like one and a half seconds so the first one and a half seconds is this lady who's obviously quite pretty who's going to naturally get people's attention and she's also holding up the product and there's also a subtitle that says want to know a secret so that naturally is going to rise or raise people's intrigue they want to know what she's about to talk about and what this like panderish looking thing is that she's holding. So naturally that's gonna, well, like I said, it's gonna make people more um, inquisitive, if that's the right word, and they're gonna wanna watch the video to see what she has to say. It's a very simple product. Um, it's just a memory foam product, basically. They do a really good job though of, well, one, they've branded the product. So that's how you differentiate yourself from any sort of competition. And like I said, build a quote unquote real brand so people keep coming back to you. And obviously with a product like this, it allows you to then stem and grow your product range onto other types of products. So it could be a cushion for you to sit on next or they could transition into chairs or even mattresses and um, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Another popular strategy as well um, is they actually point out, they highlight the pain points literally um, that most people or a lot of people certainly will be having with traditional pillows. So they kind of like 
set people up to then knock them down by saying this is the solution to all of your problems. So all in all, a great product, a great brand, a great ad creative. There's obviously put a lot of time and effort into creating this. It's not a so-called stereotypical dropshipping store, which you can knock up and put together in the space of a couple of days. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then. Um, so again, they've put a decent amount of time into this as we can see it's branded they've got the box everything these are people who got into this for the right reasons because they wanted to stay in business for a long time they wanted to create a real business which was going to produce an income for them consistently and be sustainable they're not just trying to put together a cheap stereotypical dropshipping store to make a few quid quick as they possibly can um, they've put some proper thought and time maybe even hired designers and um, depending on how well inclined they are to produce things like this but as you can see custom icons um, gifts for the icons custom gifts showing the product they've branded the product this looks like almost like a gem pages type layout they've done a really good job of putting together a product page and content for this again custom imagery this is an imagery just taken from suppliers on aliexpress and they've done a really good job as well to address all of the kind of key points or concerns somebody might have about a particular product in case you guys missed it then it's pandalondon.com definitely go and check them check them out um, just to take a look at their setup their shopify store a really nicely designed store in my opinion now this is let's talk about the actual products they're selling it for 40 pounds I couldn't find the exact same thing, obviously, because there's it's branded, it's got a panda on it, but basically it's a memory foam bamboo pillow. If we come on to AliExpress, like I'm pretty sure this is almost the exact same product. Um, it's a white rectangle memory foam bedding pillow, um, which you can get delivered for 18 pounds. That is for a small, are they selling different sizes? So they have a 60 by 40 by 12, and the 60 by 40 by 12 for this one is 25 pounds. So there's about 15 pounds of room in there. However, when you come on to Alibaba, these guys will be sourcing from, they won't be drop shipping, um, obviously because they're private labeling the product. So they won't be paying basically that 25 pounds. If we come on to Alibaba and try and find similar products, we can see this, this is a bamboo. Is that memory phone actually? I don't think that's memory foam. This one's memory foam actually. So we'll move on from that one. So hot seller washable bed bamboo cooling shredded memory foam pillow. This has a really small MOQ as well of 10 pieces and that is anywhere from 390 to 650. They are of course branding their product. It comes with a box and everything. So given my experience ordering things from Alibaba, branding things, I would guess if they're selling this for 40 pound they're certainly getting it delivered to their warehouse or to their 3pl whoever it may be um, for less than 10 pounds i would say before we move on to the second product then just a final word of if you're getting into drop shipping for the right reasons or for the long term because you want to build something sustainable that ultimately is going to replace your current income so you can do it full time then these are the sorts of companies that you want to learn from not the stereotypical pump and dump drop shipping stores moving on to product number two then this one is a bit more established this is from a company called toddler and this particular post went live over a year ago um, you've probably seen the products by now and i can almost guarantee there'll be people in the comment section saying this is saturated it's been done a million times before it's an old product it is an old product however i think it's quite naive or small-minded to think that something can become so truly saturated that you can't make any money because to say that everybody in the world has seen a particular product by the time everybody in the world has seen and knows about a particular product there'll be new people who have had kids or had their babies grow up who would then have a demand for this product it's a very evergreen niche and what i mean by that is there's always new people coming into the market looking for these sorts of things also like i mentioned in the introduction um the reason i'm showing this is because it's current and active right now they are running this as an ad right now as saturated as you may think it is it's still working if we jump on to Minia so this is where I found it um, something I want to show you is if we come down into the audience countries so they're currently selling this product in the UK US and Australia there's a lot more countries on this planet than just these three so essentially what you have in front of you is a proven validated product that we know sells we know there's no two ways about it this is a winning product so all you have to do is take it to a different country and you know that you have a really good chance of success because it's already selling well in these countries 
Moving down into the comment section then just to prove this, this thing is great, so fun, great toy, you just got mine. My, num my nine month old loves this, um, something about adults, good for a swimming pool. I got this, I want one for myself, I want one best toy ever purchased, I bought one, my little granddaughter, she's in the tub, blah blah blah, loves it. I ordered a month ago, still not here, so make sure you do a better job than these guys. Goes through batteries fast, so you can see there's another person who's bought one. So as you can see, you get the gist, people um, are definitely buying this product. At 34,000 reactions, 7,000 comments and 4 point nine thousand shares are pretty i think it's pretty safe to say this thing is making money um just to prove that it is still active as well if we go for newest we can see one day one day and we'll open some of these up we've got 15 weeks 46 weeks but we can ignore that because there'll be replies from recently so again look one day ago let's get past these with all the replies uh, so one day, two days, two days, three days, three days, four days, six days, one week, one week, one week, one week. So we can see it's still current, it's still active. Um, and like I said, it must be working. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then. Um, let's get rid of this. It's not very traditional actually. They have, as you can see, that kind of um, cream background with really soft pastel -y colors. The perfect kind of color scheme really for a baby type store. By the looks of things, I oh know they've got lots of different products. It's all geared around, it's all those kind of like um, stereotypical dropshipping winning products, but just goes to show um, you can definitely make it work if you know what you're doing. It is a big risk because obviously you're relying on building up your ad account to sell it successfully each time, but at least by sticking in the same niche, your Facebook knows or will at least try and sell it to those similar customers which have bought past products. So two different colors, um, starts at $24, you can get a two pack. No dynamic checkout button, which is interesting. And then just some kind of custom icons, some nice images, a GIF of the product. To be honest, it doesn't look like they've even gone to the extent to get custom imagery or take their own photographs for this. This all looks like stock content potentially from suppliers. So super quick, super easy setup. And like I mentioned earlier on in the video, this is one of those kind of traditional drop shipping stores where they'll scale something to the moon. It will probably drop off. So then then move on to the next thing. So $25, $24.15 delivered. That's if they're not charging um, a delivery fee. If we jump onto AliExpress, I mean £3.28, £3.30 including delivery. That's on time, 15 day delivery. What that works out at about $5. So there's still $20 of room in there. So it goes to show that even though it's quite a small, plasticky, cheap, low quality type product, there's still $20 of room in there, which explains why they've been able to be so successful with it because there's enough room for them to to really be aggressive when it comes down to scaling so really nice effective and simple facebook ad creative the whole thing in itself is only 13 seconds long so like i said super easy setup super easy to replicate and if you are looking for a product to kind of dip your toes in something that you know has a really good chance of success. It's one of those cheaper products as well. So you know um, it's one of those easier products to sell because obviously it's easier to convert somebody on $25 than it is say $40. Then definitely consider giving this one a go. That being said then guys, that wraps up Facebook Ads Friday week 31. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found the video valuable. That's why I do these. Any video suggestions, comments, questions, anything I can help you with, just put in the comments down below. I read every single one. So I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you in my next video on Monday. Cheers.